As one of the largest universities in the nation, Michigan State considers safety a top priority. So it was a surprise last month when many people did not know what to do when they received an alert of a possible gunman on campus. If I had actually been in Bessie, I would have been completely confused about what to do. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Sheena Horsford is a doctoral student and teacher at MSU. Unlike many, she was prepared. She's a former Virginia Tech student, and even though she left campus a year before the shooting that occurred there, Michigan State's scare felt very real to her. What scares me is if we don't take it serious or if we are in a classroom and we don't have a plan, that it can just replicate itself and, you know, people's lives could be lost for no reason. While it's not required for faculty and staff to be trained for a violent attacker situation, she decided to be proactive. It's a lot of students in my class and if something was to happen, I would want us to at least be able to know that, okay, where are the exits if we need to get out. But the threat at Bessie Hall may have acted as a wake-up call for other MSU faculty. You know, there was this response of, are our faculty ready as well? Captain Kelly Roudebush from MSU's Department of Public Safety would love it if faculty, staff, and students were trained for an active shooter, but cannot require it. But I do know that it's come as a strong recommendation from the university president. Since many are not trained, they rely heavily on their text alert system, which is somewhat limited in its capabilities. With nearly 50,000 students, not every text will be received. Some of these classrooms where either we have 20, 50, 300 students, if two students in that classroom get a text, that they speak up to the professor so that we know this is what's going on. After receiving an alert from the police, it's important to turn off the lights and close the door. Unfortunately, at Michigan State, many of the doors don't lock, so you can make a barricade from desks and chairs to push in front of the door. We don't do drills on this. It's too disturbing for people. Um, so if you get this text, we really do think that there's a potential of a severe threat to the safety of our communities. And although it may seem unlikely that Michigan State could be the victim of an attack, it's better to be safe than sorry. I am um, aware in terms of if, if this was to happen, I think I have already thought like a couple of steps ahead of how I would prepare for this. 